That three way, you got a three way bulb in there. Uh, to put another bulb right no, there. So is that a three way? Uh, I don't know what you mean. Like you know how it goes. Oh no, 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 okay, don't worry about it, bro. Uh, don't worry about it, bro. Don't worry about it, bro. Just go through the spirit, bro. Just whoever got a script, first scripture couldn't mind go, bro. It's live, bro. There's a. Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Okay. Open it up, bro. Oh, brother, open it up. Go ahead, y'all. Open it up. Let your brother get the scripture, bro. All right, man. This is GMS Houston Cap, man. I want to start off by uh, giving all praise, honor, and glory. I see y'all. Bye, Shum. Y'all was shot. Bye, Shum. Rakaf, Want to give double honors to the Apostle Nell. There's a great millstone. And peace and blessings. on so you like brothers scrap across the four corners of the earth, man. And uh, we're going to get straight into this live show. Uh, brother, you go ahead. Bro. Go ahead, brother. Mm -hmm. It is uh, Jeremiah 30, verse 7. The last for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And that's the time we're approaching, man, especially with uh, uh, with everything going on with uh, the uh, Israelite being blasted in the media across the, uh, uh, the nation right now, man. All right. Yeah. And it's really the most high is opening up the door, That's man. Strange. The most high is, uh, is opening up the door and letting Esau go ahead and start his smearing campaign, man. So he can start demonizing us and setting us to be uh, 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 the, the bad guy so he can go ahead and start coming after brothers, man. Because that's what's going to come soon, man. They're going to heighten us up to be the, 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 the bad guys, man, on top of uh, uh, and really to set us up to be the blame of everything that's about to go down the pipe, right, man. Right, Because it's about to be a beautiful year and a lot of things are going to take place and you're already seeing it, man. Now, you didn't have uh, uh, Trump, he didn't cancel the, uh, well, they reopened the government for what, three weeks? Yeah, that's what they say, three weeks. So that's, that's, that, that's BS and that's just another tactic of Esau to rock niggas back to sleep, man. Get y'all back comfortable thinking, okay, we good, I can get my, get my benefits back, I can, uh, 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 we can get all this help back from the so-called white man, but real soon, it ain't going to be no warning. They going to just cut all that shit, man. Because why? Because the dollar's getting ready to crash. Right. It's already, the dollar's already done, man. Right. This is waiting on that last blow to say, ain't no using this motherfucker no more, man. All right? And that's going to affect, and even Trump said that. He said this is mainly affecting uh, African Americans, man. All right? Hey, well, that's how you, that's how you operate with, with sheep, I you know what I'm saying? You got to be, an uh, announcement got to be made by some cat in the suit. Hey, what you got in your hand is useless. When it's being useless the whole time, you got to be told. Then you're going to be Go ahead, brother. Because Jake already living paycheck to paycheck. So when they cut everything out officially, it's going it, it's gonna, to it's gonna cause a lot of chaos amongst uh, Jake, man. Right. Jake going to catch instant hell, man. All right. Who bring the scripture out again and you know, preach that, brother? Mm -hmm. um, there's a Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. Yeah, none is like it, man, because we're not in that time, man. If you have somebody telling we in the time of Jacob's trouble, that we're not in it yet, man, because when Jacob's trouble hit, it won't be no denying it, man. It won't be no hope or waiting to see and when are we going to get uh, back pay from, uh, from the government. Are they going to open? No. It's going to be all out fucking hell in the streets, man. It's going to be like the the, uh, the movie The Purge, man. Right. All these things are going to come to fruition through the spirit of the Most High, man, which is in control and allowed Esau to, to go ahead and uh, open, uh, be that flood, man. Go ahead. It is even, hey, right, even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. Yep, and at the Sorry. end of it, man, the, the elect of Israel is going to be saved, man. And that's why we fighting to stay in line with what the most high and what the scriptures require of us, man. So we can build that remainder, that, that remnant that gets delivered from all the chaos, man. Not only at the end, but the ones that the most high have protection through Jacob's trouble, man. Through martial law and all the things coming, man. All right? Right, this is uh, 2 Ezra 15 and 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. So woe means destruction. So 
So the scriptures call for destruction of the uh, world and them that dwell therein. All right. Why? Okay. One would ask, why does the scriptures ask for the destruction of the people that's in the world, man? Because of their wickedness, man. For their uh, um, the, for their spirit of the anti-Messiah, man. They're completely against the words that's in this Bible. So when you have these different uh, journalists, all right, these different news stations that's talking against the um, the prophets of the Heavenly Father, because that's who they're talking against, all right? The men that's out there preaching on the highways and the byways are the prophets that the Heavenly Father has sent to warn his people of the times that's coming, man. All right, to get ready for the battle, all right? And to um, prophesy of the destruction. Salaki. Salaki. Yeah, right, brother. And also to prophesy against this kingdom. So I read on. This second Ezra is 15 and um, 15. It says, For the sword and their destruction draw not one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're coming into, man. Like the brother had said, the time of Jacob's trouble. There's going to be people fighting against each other, man. All right? Right now, it's all cool and smooth. You can go to work. You all right? You can get in your car. You can hop in, get some gas. Yeah, Stop get you by a Jamba Juice or something. Right. <laughs> Stop by Dunkin' Donuts. But all that is going to come to a screeching halt, man. Right? In, this, in the time that we're speaking of, which the, uh, uh, the scriptures speak of is right around the corner, man. Right, bro. All right? Hey, These hey, things are not far off, man. Con, bro, let me just say this, bro. Hey, man, just, you know, hey, man, we know we got to, man, we just got to, you know what I'm saying, just, you know what I'm saying, like, man, make it plain and raw, bro. Look, man, these crackers don't want to see no niggas, man. And be honest with me, you go out and you see these all looking at you, bro, you be like, man, fuck you. You don't say it, but you think, man, fuck you, man. We, we getting into that time, man, okay? You know, it's, it just seems like, you no, know, like, People get along and go along and get along. Like, in my job, bro, the crackers, hey, good morning, good morning. Man, they don't want to see no niggas, man. I don't want to see them crackers neither, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's getting to a point. Then you get on the elevator with the guy, then he goes, good morning, but he, he don't even want to fuck. He don't even want to be on the elevator with you, bro. Neither do I want to be with you, you smelly red dog. You understand? So we getting into them times, bro. Go ahead. Right, right people, the true colors are going to be shown in the time that we're coming into, man. Right. All right? So verse 16, it says, for there should be sedition among men and invading one another. So there's going to be a riots among men. All right. It says, in invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor their princes. So people are going to be invaded, like uh, people say in the world, don't invade my prophecy. I mean, uh, 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 don't invade my uh, what's the word? prophecy. Your prophecy is going to get invaded, man. All right. People are gonna come and take what you uh, uh what you got, man. All right. Joel Salente said, all right, when there's dip, when there's desperate times, it calls for desperate measure, man, and that's true. And these American people are gonna bug out completely because they have never experienced hard times, yeah. man. They're so comfortable and so fat, all right, and relaxed. When these times hit, they're gonna completely lose their minds, man. Because they think they exempt from it, man. Because they thinking, okay, all this is going to fit. And that's what was scared a lot of these uh, Edomites and these other nations that work for the government. They never was put in that position that we've been in our whole damn life, man. So they looking at it like, okay, this is going to fit. We're going to cut food stamps. Because I remember it was an older video, but you had an Edomite woman was calling uh, the cops on a, on, a Jake, uh, on a Judite chick in the grocery store. She had a basket full of groceries. And she guess she was on the phone telling somebody she gonna uh, sell them some food stamps. She and either my she got pissed off. Said I'm calling the cops. She said that's why we're gonna build that fucking wall. <laughs> and they mind frame that everything that Trump is setting up, we good. We're gonna get rid of Mexicans. We're gonna get these niggas out of here too. And, and we exempt from it, man. But that's gonna be the beauty of it, man. Even when Jacob's trouble hit, man. These Edomites is gonna follow right behind, man, and start tasting the judgment of the Most High, man. All right, and they're not gonna be prepared like the brother was saying because they think they we we in the power seat. They got that natural pride in them, man. All right, and, and also they they think America's gonna be healed again. God, this is why they're fighting for this wall and this bill, that bill to be passed because they think America is gonna bounce back to this former state, man. Sure. But that's not gonna happen, man. 
According to the scriptures, Babylon the Great is falling, man. Gone. It's falling and they can't get up. Yeah, that's it. All right. <laughs> No, no matter no, that's it, bro. No matter how much you you know assign it along, she can't get up, man, because it's the judgment of the heavenly father upon this place, man. And you so-called white people know how much wickedness that you have done in the earth, man. Right. And there is no way in hell that America's gonna bounce back that 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 America's gonna see some type of blessing, all right, by God, you know, and all this madness, man. Judgment coming down upon this place, man. And, right. and it's only a matter of time. Before you always try to crack them clouds, so to speak, man. Right. And get busy. That's right. See. Which is prophesied in the Bible, you know? Right. So, brother, got something? And he's got that report that brother read that says, and they should not regard their kings nor princes, man. He's doing it right now, man. Fuck right. Trump. Fuck the president. It ain't mine, you know what I'm saying? Bro. Right. You know, in, in a minute, they're going to, you know, the crap is going to be like, man. They're going to be like, man, fuck these niggas. We can't depend on Trump to put these niggas to corral these niggas, so we gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? And niggas gonna say shit. We can't depend on nobody to corral these crackers. We gonna do it, man. And that's when it's gonna be sedition among men, and shit gonna go completely haywire, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because it used to be a time to where uh, the president got on TV and made the so-called president, if you know that name. You know what I'm saying? Got on TV and made the State of the Union shit. The majority of Americans was, you know, they wouldn't enforce it. Now these motherfuckers like, man, fuck this motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to see the fruits of that coming very, very soon, bro. I can't fucking wait, bro. Right, it's taking Exodus 15 and uh, 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading the one another. They shall not regard their kings nor their princes in the course of their actions to stand in their own power. So there's going to be an anarchy. Mainly in the streets of America, man. All right, and like the brother said, now you see it is uh coming to a boiling point where these people are getting sick and tired of their government, man. It's going to lead to complete chaos. All right, so says the Bible. But when we bring these things out, your uh your 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 uh CNN news, they call it hate speech. All right, it's just the truth. Right. And the Bible speaks of these things to come, man. So you don't have a problem with us. It's not us you have a problem with. It's the most how you got the problem with. Alright. So it says uh, verse 16. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. That shall martial law, man. The cities are going to be cornered off. Alright. Like you see in your movies. Like they say, uh, art imitate life. These things are going to come to pass. Alright. Yep. You already had uh, Trump was pushing a set of national uh, uh, declared a state of national emergency, and in the midst of that, that's what, this is what goes on when a national emer uh, emergency is set in place. They take complete control over the country, man. They shut down everything. You ain't gonna have the freedom to roam about the country as you are, man. You ain't just gonna be able to jump on the freeway and go where you please, man. They gonna have martial law troops set up to put all that to a halt, man. And in that time, in the time with the brother reading, it's just not gonna be no no uh, run through or no test. It's going to be uh, full-fledged, engaged, man. And they're going to be putting uh, anybody that's you rebelling in the debt not, on top of just killing for fun. What you got it, brother? Uh, real quick, the brother had mentioned martial law. I just want to read the definition of martial law. It says, typically, the impos imposition of martial law accompanies curfews, the suspension of civil law, civil rights, and habeas corpus and the application or extension of military law or military justice to civilians. Right. So all your little liberties and your little so-called freedoms, that's all going to go out the window, man. Right. It's going to be a whole different rule of law. Right. You're not going to be able to, you know, uh, well, I have my day in court or, you know, your, your, your so-called rights, your constitutional rights are going to go out the window, man. Okay, and that's that's the day we approach it, and that's where the term order out of chaos comes. Okay, right? Because all this chaos is get. Because I'm gonna say this too, everybody is is joining up with who they believe and what they believe in. Right. Everybody is choosing a side right now. Right. This is the time to get with the with the truth, which is the the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. 
Okay, because this is the winning team. Even though it looked like we on the losing team, this the winning team, man. And everybody is choosing, well, I'm going to go stand with this group. I'm going to stand with this group. I'm, I'm going to be down with the, the Southern Militia. I'm going to be with the Black Panthers. Or, you know, I'm, I'm a Democrat. Or, I'm a Republican. Everybody's choosing what side they want to be on, man. But all them sides is, is going to lose in the end. Right. Only the, the side that the Heavenly Father uh, elected is going to win, man. Yep. Hence the term election. Okay, those that are chosen. That's the that's the uh, ones that's going to win. Okay, but you got it. Right? Bro, this chaos that's coming, bro. These drones, these uh, copper chop, man. Y'all ain't got no, no idea, man. The, the police going to be militarized. The military going to be police going to all be one, man. Right. Not these simple niggas like, you know what I'm saying, that's just, you know, proud to be a, a policeman because they got beat up in high school. I'm talking about these gung-ho, crew-cut crackers, you know what I'm saying? The yeah. ones that run to the border to go right, help right. the exactly. uh, ICE. Exactly, bro. Hey, they, you ain't want to see them in that, in that day. We're not far from it, bro. You got it, bro. Yeah, like that video uh, that you had posted. Well, you did the next song, and he saw say, shit, just start shooting. Just shoot them. Shoot, shoot the turns, yeah. Yeah, just He ain't being put it subtly. Yeah, look, but he saw once he get a taste of blood, right, 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 right. he's yeah. satisfied no, with right, man. Right. He's going to go crazy. Right. Once he get that first shot, he know it's excusable. Oh, boy. They yeah. showed that in that movie, Jawhead. Old boy was talking about, yeah, I, I got a crispy critter. You know, because they was out there killing Ishmael. You know, and they, they just want to keep on killing, man. They just want to see blood, man. You know, because once you get that taste and old boy that was going to be the sniper, he never even got a chance to kill nobody. He lost his mind, man, because he didn't get to kill no damn body. Hey, that's something that's crazy. Bro. That's crazy. These people join these military, this military, not Jake, but Esau. They join the military. They join the, the police force. And get into these positions just to do what? To jack you jakes up, man. Right. Now, I, now I'll get me a nigga. Now I'll hang me a nigga. Now I'll give me a spit. You yeah. know? That's why they join, man. So they can fulfill that lust, that, they, that hateful lust that they got towards our people, man. That deep jealousy is spiritual, man. Shit, that's it, bro. It's a, it's a spiritual thing. Like, yeah, that's right, brother. It's a spiritual thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna go down, but the scriptures say it to be, bro. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, brother. Uh, second Ezra 15 and uh, 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy the houses with the sword, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and great tribulation. So people are gonna be knocking down those and kick in the kick dough of spirit, man. All right. Give me what you got. I'll get laid down. Man. Uh -huh. It's coming. Hey, like they say, it's coming to a shore near you, man. This is not a game, man. All right. The scriptures say that none of these prophecies will fail, man. That's right. All right. These things are gonna to come to pass, regardless of how you feel. All right, what belief you believe in? All right, regardless of how many of you so-called uh, Trump supporters protest, are you activists speak up against it? It's gonna happen, man. All right, and you people are not gonna be prepared. All right, because the only way you can prepare is by the way of these scriptures, man. All right. Oh yeah. He say uh, the scriptures. It was saying that uh, people gonna be breaking into people's houses. All right, and when Yahweh shot, he said the love of many shall wax cold. Mm -hmm. All right, so all that best friend, buddy, buddy shit gonna be out the window because when you hungry, you gonna go get it. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. yeah. Just to back that brother up on this point, this is Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 1. It says, The burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt. In the midst of it, and it's not talking about ancient Egypt, it's talking about America. It says in verse 2, the point, it says, and I, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight one, Ersalaka, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. 
That's it. That's the time period we at, man. All that uh, going and bringing a, a pie to your next door neighbor spirit is going to be done away with. Right. Because there ain't going to be no food. So you want to see what he got in there, man. I know he been stocking up. I know he got materials I can use. Even if they kids went to Little League together and oh, carpool? Shit, I want his wife. They going to be breaking in for all types of reasons, man. Man, that's real. That was it on there. Laugh now, cry later, man. You, you, you gonna see, man. And it's you know, and it ain't, man. This has been through the spirit. This has been pushed by the the apostles and elders for years, man. You know, nice all coming to fruition, man. And ain't gonna be no escape from it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, brother. That was it. Uh, this is uh Daniel twelve and one. Cause at that time, shall Michael stand up? All right, Michael's one of the archangels of the Most High. All right, it says, At that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince would stand it for the children of thy people. And the people are talking about the Israelites, and he goes by Tino of the Native Americans. All right, it says, And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. All right, so it says it's going to be a time of trouble never was since, since there was a nation. So we're coming to a time that that's about to happen. That ain't never happened before on earth. All right, worse than 70 AD, you know, mm -hmm. and all of that. Right. All right. When you read about Egypt in the scriptures, wisdom of Solomon, oh, Exodus, yeah. that yeah. shit terrible. They were seeing like uh, apparitions. apparitions. They were seeing spirits, man. God's gonna darkness. turn these people up. Yep. All types of madness gonna be going on, man. Uh, and most I said he gonna top that. He said they ain't gonna be talking about that no more. Right. They're gonna be talking about from the land of the north. It says, at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book, and that's the elect. All right? And like I said, it's going it's to be a time like that's about to happen that ain't never happened before, so you're going to need some type of spiritual in intervention all right, to protect the elect, because there's going to be a lot going on in the streets. Right. And you know what's so cold, Slocky, brother? You know, and I'm talking about our people, bro. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. They're going to, they're going to, when all this shit happen, they're going to attribute to everything but the most high power, man. These are the acts and the works of the most high power, man. Okay? The same power that motherfuckers that made jokes of and cracked on and, you know what I'm saying? But he's going to make his, he going to make himself known and his power, power known, man. Okay? And you want to be on the right side of that when, when, when it happens, bro. Okay? Go ahead, brother. Come on, this is on um, Revelation chapter 6, starting at verse 7. And when he had opened the fourth seal, mm. I heard the voice of the fourth beast saying, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, <laughs> and his name that sat on him was death, mm. and hell followed with him. Mm. Okay. And power was given unto them, over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword, no, or to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. So all these things will be used to bring judgment upon the planet Earth, man. Beasts, all right. Woo! These things are coming, man. Yep. All these caged animals, unknown beasts that we don't know about, lab-made creatures, man. These things are coming to the planet Earth all for the judgment, man. All right, talk about and Sirach, the teeth of wild beasts, man. Right. Mm -hmm. This is what the most, look, bro, the most high control all things, man. Right. So when he put in the spirit of these animals to a wreck shop, they're going to wreck shop, man. Right. Shit. Right. <laughs> you can die by a thousand bumblebees, bees, man. They'll cook you. Right. Yes, yeah, right. Straight up, bro. So, man, look, bro, this 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 is the spirit that's coming to the earth, man. The brother ran inside of Daniel 12 and 1, man. That quick one. Hold on, verse yeah, so I'm really quick. Okay. You have some? Come on, I have some. Uh, this is Amos 5, verse 18. One to you that desire the day of Yahweh. To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear man, or went or went into the house and and about you. And lend his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Like how the brother was saying, 
these animals are going to be used in those days to bring judgment to uh, two-thirds of Israel and to everybody, you know, all the heathen. You know, death is going to meet everybody, man. Right. right. Remember, uh, as well, it's the, all the different plagues, man. Come on. See, you're gonna make, if you make it through one, uh, one thing, you, it's going to be another uh, piece of destruction or right. plague of pestilence waiting on you, man. Some form or fashion, judgment, you ain't going to escape the judgment of the heavenly Father, right. man. Right. And even the ones that get put to death, man, you're going to get the most high going to make sure you taste that missile, man. They're going to bring your ass back so you can feel right. the heat of that missile. Right. You ain't going to escape because that's the ultimate judgment, man. Right. You niggas not going to get off easy, man. Because you got shot in the head. Okay, you ain't going to just get off that easy. You're going to taste that heat, man. Right. The most high going to bring you back, bro. To feel that, bro. That, that's, that's, that's a hell of a lick, bro. That's a hell of a lick, bro. Shout out to me. Y'all about to show me how to shout out to that. Shout out to me. And, and don't forget our good friend the Leviathan. Because you know it don't come up much. But we all seen the movie Cloverfield. They couldn't even destroy that thing with nukes. The Clash of the Titans. Yeah. Like, they all the cracking. Yeah. Yeah. Pirate, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And right. that, that Leviathan gonna come up out that water and wreck. And y'all then. Just that alone, the, lot, the Leviathan alone, you people is going to lose your damn mind. You ain't never seen that before. Right. All this is what you see in the movies. You can't imagine this to really take place because right, right. you're so caught up in your Walt Disney world, right. your world of make-believe, your right. Mr. Rogers. Right. You know? Right. Because you've been believing in a lie your whole life. But the truth of these scriptures is speaking, man. And when they, like mentioned in the Leviathan, when that thing come up out that water, y'all people is gonna drop dead off off just the sight of it, man. Right, bro. Right, bro. Right. He, 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 he ain't grazing up just to go on like a uh, right to him. He coming to catch red, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and that's to make the so power of the most high, bro. So hey, brother. I was saying about how the wise they mentioned Godzilla in that last movie, the last Godzilla they did. They say he been uh, roaming the, uh, the earth for thousands of years. Right. He right. been here. Right. And they say all the nuclear, <laughs> it was bullshit, but uh, they say all the nuclear uh, bomb testings was him trying to kill him, just like you were saying about Cloverfield. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's all going to be trying to use all type of weapon technology, but you ain't going to be able to stop the the the, the, uh, the, the weapons that the most highly created for his judgment. That's man. right. And hey, they got a new one coming out. They think they're supposed to drop this yeah. summer, I believe, a new Godzilla, bro. You know what I'm saying? They was showing a little clip I seen. He was just shooting that radiation straight up into the air, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? You don't want to see that, bro. But you want to see it because it's part of our, our our redemption. But you don't want you don't want to be on the wrong side of that shit, bro. God. You know what I'm saying? Like the brother was saying through, through the spirit of that scripture, it's gonna be all like chaos, man. Imagine running pestilence, disease. Motherfuckers gonna be shooting, and you going into a building, you. And you look some creature you ain't never seen. Right. You can't identify sitting there with big long razor sharp finger of blood coming. You know what I'm saying? Your and skin even, just start falling off your body. Right. And even if you do get lucky and shake it, I don't know how, but if you do, something else gonna be, but you're not gonna escape the judgment of the most high power, bro. You're not gonna do it. But go ahead, brother. Right, you should be talking about sparks coming out their eyes, man. <laughs> and also breathing fire, bro. That's something we never seen. Never before, seen, bro. bro. They ain't seen that, bro. That should have blown me completely out, bro. Yeah, imagine seeing see a that, dragon <laughs> blowing fire. Some great big reptile just shooting sparks out of their eyes, man. Can you fucking imagine that? Look, can you hear the, imagine the noise of this the motherfucker breathing in and out, bro? Yeah. That's going to damn that shake the ground. Just him breathing in and out, bro. Imagine when he when he uh, hey, bro, we can't we can't even imagine that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, bro. No, it's uh so rock thirty-nine and twenty-eight. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of their in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him. That made them. Hey, Salaki, brother. Motherfuckers is worried about R. Kelly, man. They worried about the chump, the government breakdown, man. You read, do you understand what's coming out through these scriptures, man? 
You were, remember, was worried about all the wrong shit, man. Go ahead, brother. Read, read it, brother. It says, "Fire and hell, and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and a sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon the earth when need is. And when their time is come." They shall not transgress his word. All right. And it said it's going to happen to the sinners. That that excommunicates God loves the sinner but hates the sin. You sinners are going to die horribly, bro. Right, bro. Right, bro. And that proves, as the brother just read, proves the brother said to the spirit, the most high control all these things. Bro. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be controlled by the most high. They're going to have to do the fear of the Lord. Up on them, bro. You know what I'm saying? You think a uh, scorpion like, oh man, I'll crush them before no, you're not in that day you won't. Right. Scorpion gonna fuck you up, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be small minuscule bugs that's gonna come and a swarm and fuck you up, bro. Man, you was only in black ants. You you lose your mind in a in a swarm of flies, man. Imagine ten thousand flies around you and you just you gonna lose your mind. They movie the birds, like the brother said about the movies. They put it out there. The birds, man, you know how many birds they got out? Just the swarms of birds coming in. People freak out when they walk in uh, downtown and see a pigeon. Especially the women, they see a pigeon. They ah, about to uh, a pack of rats <laughs> chewing your ass up. <laughs> Did somebody bring that? Somebody got something? Oh, go ahead, brother. It's uh, Ezekiel uh, 38 and 23. said, Thus will I magnify myself and sanctify myself. I will I will be known in the eyes of many nations, mm. and they shall know that I am Yahweh. Mm. So the most is about to make himself known, just like he did in ancient Egypt. You got I a point to prove. Huh? Add, just to add on to that, in, in the way... The Most High is going to be known because everything that the men of the Lord are speaking is He He's going to bring out into into out to the eyes of the world, man. So that's why it's important to push this word and hundred percent of the word and and, and 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 prophesy because we speaking all the things that the Most High going to bring forth. We the, the announcers for the for uh, for Yahweh Shine and everything that He's going to usher in through the power of His Father, man. All right. Finish your point. Are you finished? Finish your point, bro. Cause now I was gonna say that uh, that people back in that day used to call the Most High all the Shadi, the demon-like terrible power. Right. Because of his judgments and the way he killed people. Right, right, bro. Right, bro. Right, bro. You know what I'm saying? And we are commanded by the, through the scriptures to declare the works of the Most High power, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ones we've seen and not seen, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? This is not written. For nothing, bro. Right. Just these, for a good read. Right, right, bro. These things have happened and will happen, bro. On a scale that you can't even, you know what I'm saying? And then after all that, bro, picture the, the great mountain like chariot coming down with the Lord standing on top of that motherfucker, bro. Coming to catch Ray, bro. What you gonna do, bro? What you gonna do, bro? That's why the scriptures say knowledge and wisdom shall be, or wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability at our times. This the only way, man. With this this understanding and being, we're really being one of the elect. No, that's the only way out of this thing, man. No. They say motherfuckers is is, is is focused on the wrong. You got you know, you know, well, you know the men of the Lord are certain. Let's talk about these the drone peons. You know the Israelites, man. You know the so-called Negroes, Latino Native Americans. They focus on what they what they see on TV and what's putting up on like YouTube. Man, it's something greater coming over the horizon, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's coming soon, bro. It's coming soon, bro. I mean, you know. But we know, hey, they don't see it. You know, it's not meant for them. But most I put blinders on them. But it's been proclaimed from the apostles and the elders on down. These are the things coming. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we don't get deterred by. These set up Israelites, Israelites, and all that, but we know that that that's that's supposed to come, and more gonna come, man. But yep. the Most High gonna show his hand, but he been doing it, bro. But he been showing a small hand. Now he gonna he gonna put the big six down, bro. 
You understand what I'm saying? Straight up, bro. Straight up, bro. You know what I'm saying? You both got something, you can get it in and wrap it up, bro. Uh, Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 11. And they that have loathed, loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when and when is yet place of repentance was opened unto them, understood not, but despised it. And right now, you Israelites, all right, y'all have liberty, man. Y'all have liberty to uh to come into this truth, man. All right, and and, and uh the Israelites were put on the main stage, okay. And what did you Jakes do that lit, that heard the message, man? All right, you you despised it, man. You talk shit. You made videos. Niggas made whole YouTube videos condemning the Israelites, man. Yeah. All right, while you had liberty, man. Okay, and understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. Okay, mm. so you're gonna you, you're gonna get death by pain, man. All right, for despising the truth of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Death by what? I death by pain. So you gonna understand that you fucked up, you know? Yeah. You know you fucked up. You yeah, yeah. Hey, man, I'm thinking about that. We were just speaking about how the most high gonna, uh, the ones that die before the missiles gonna get brought back to, to get uh, to feel that heat, man. Imagine that. You done got uh, judged, you know, uh, however it was, and then you in the spiritual world, and then boom, you back. Right back. You gonna know. You gonna, you gonna see, damn, I was out there fucking up. I rebelled against the Heavenly Father, and then he throw you back out there to finish your judgment. Somebody get Second Chronicles uh, 36 and 16 real quick, Robert Kashak. Second Chronicles 36 and 16. Right, this is uh, Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles 36 and 16. And this is directed toward our people, man. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, because you, you've been fairly warned, man. Okay, you've been thoroughly Fairly warned, man. Okay, we tell you what's coming down the pipe, man. What thus said the Most High Power, man. Okay, but who's hey, bro? Just like now, bro. We were right on the block. Who comes scoffing, man? Do it be Esau, bro? No, it be our own fucking people, bro. Yep. You understand what I'm saying? Read that, brother. Hey, start at fifteen, now. Come on. That remind me of Proverbs chapter one when they talk about how the Most High gave him warning and he warned them, but when the calamity comes, he gonna mock at them because. The one that I've already been out Yeah. There, you know? I told you. <laughs> he said he gonna laugh. Right? And mock. And mock. Yeah. How is that for a merciful, all loving power? Right, it's right. just. And then he said, when it happened, when all that calamity come upon him, then they gonna wanna cry to the Lord, like, forgive me. I wanna do right. It's gonna be too late. But why you wanna do right now? What now all of a sudden you wanna get right? Why? Because you catching hell. You getting a foot up your ass from your power. Now you want to try to get right with your power. You but now, something. while you got the the, the, the the liberty to get right, you don't want to do right. Because you don't see that power. But you finna see the strength of the Heavenly Father. Bring it out of Bible, Kasha. Second Chronicles 36 and 15. And Yahweh power of their father sent to them by his messengers, rising up be times, and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of Yahweh arose against his people till there was no remedy. Bro, Go ahead, brother. That word, read that again about B times. God. It says, but they mocked the messengers. Well, Salakia, so like verse 15. Uh -huh. It says, And Yahweh power of their father sent to them by his messengers, rising up be times. That word mean continually and carefully. The word is continual. You can go online right now and get this word. Right now, as we doing this show, Apostle Elder Apostle Ramlob is doing the show, and other brothers in other camps is doing shows, right? Live shows right now. Is no, it's not gonna be no excuse, man. The the prophets is going out continually, the true prophets, and they're speaking these things carefully. So it ain't no excuse. It ain't gonna be no. Well, Lord, I didn't know. No, nah, man, all them, all that's out the window. Go ahead, brother. Right. Remind me the uh the Amos three and seven when it uh, talks about how the Most High before he do anything. He sent his prophets out there to, 
to tell the people what's gonna happen before he do it. Why? So be justified when he bring it. That's it. Bring the destruction, you know. Because he fell. He fell. He's a just power. Right. That means he balanced. Right. You know what? I'm going to destroy this place. Before I do, y'all go tell them I'm going to destroy it. Go ahead. All right. The Lord going to destroy this place. Get right with the Lord. Uh, uh, yeah, shit, man. Man, hey, them niggas out there every week. They yeah, yeah, yeah. You're taking away our happiness. Then, when planes and shit start falling from the sky... The police is shooting you niggas left and right. Oh, Lord, Lord. No, nah, man. Do it. Get it right now. And as we always, like we know what the scriptures say, the elect will. You know? Hey, Jeremiah 8 and uh, 7. Somebody bought my shot. Whoever get it first. It's Jeremiah 8 and 7. It says, Yay, the the stork in the heavens know at her appointed times, and the turtle and the crane and the swallow and the swallow observe the time of their coming. But my people know not the judgment of Yahweh. No, nope. right, man. It, they attribute everything that's happening to just bad politics, a Trump, or this cat. You know what I'm saying, bro? This is all the works of the Most High Power. Bro. Right, our people don't even. You don't even consider, man. These are the works of the Lord, man. This time that we live in is in is appointed for judgment, man. Right. Appointed for destruction. Right. And like the scripture just said, them animals know the seasons, man. They know when to fly south for the winter. Right. They know when it's time to go out and gather. They know. They know when. when how they 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 move in naturally, doing what they they know how to move correctly through this world, man. They know what's going on. But the people is like, it ain't going to happen. Right. You know? Or whatever is happening. It's attributed to something else. Right. The, 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 the government going to fix it. FEMA going to fix it. They're going to eventually pass a law that's going to that's gonna fix it. Man, no, man. These are the works of the most high power, man. Woe to those that go down to Egypt, bro, for, for covering, man. Right? And that's why people have faith in, man. They're oppressive, man. Esau, the healers, man. anything but the most high power, man. Okay? Motherfucker pull out a Ouija board and, and pray to that shit before you give reverence to the most high power, man. But all that's going to be, be, be rectified very, very soon, man. You've been fairly warned, bro. That's it. Okay? You had something, bro? You had something? Uh, she close it up, brother. Right. No, I've got one more. Go ahead, bro. This is Psalm 66 and verse 1. It say, make a joyful noise unto the heavenly father, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right. All ye lands. Right. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praises that's glorious. That's the lock here, brother. That's the song that's supposed to be getting sung, man. Not coming up with no rap and all of a sudden. No, oh, right, like right, we spoke about earlier. Right. When, when, when the demonization really kick in, all them gimmicks and shit, right. a lot of them cats, they ain't gonna want nothing to do with Israel. Right, They're right. gonna disassociate themselves with us, uh, but you already marked yourself, man. Right. Playing games and trying to right, have fun. Right. When, right. when men was laying their life on the line and, and really singing the true song, which is an understanding of this uh, scripture. Right? Yeah. It's going to be like on the cartoons, bro. They got there with the fancy garment thumping their chest when they see how to eat the most high. Going to turn their spirit on Esau. They gonna, but the garment's still going to be like somebody in it, bro. Float down to them. They're going to be right. out of there, bro. Because they playing, bro. Let's they see. Playing, bro. All them cats that like to walk around all day with fringes on their T-shirts. That's gonna go out the window and that quick. They're gonna take that right off. Man. Wait, wait, no, I don't need no. Now right. you wanna be Clark Kent. Right, right. Nah, too late hey, now. Nah. Didn't I see you? I don't bring it. Nah, it wasn't plenty of times. I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a fight. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, like a uh, like Big Draco, huh? It's a fight. It's a fight. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see, man. Most I will. We, we, we make it through that, man. Come okay. And like the brother said through the spirit, man, the song is being sung, man. But Jake not dancing, bro. Nope. Jake not lamenting, bro. Jake not busting a move at all, bro. Jake not even chat, not even nothing. It ain't registering Jake, but, but it will, man. It they will, stopping bro. up the ears. That's right, bro. It will, man. Go ahead and close it up. Brother, 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 brother. It's, oh, right just a little oh, no, no, comment. Right, it's saying, sing for the honor of his name. Make his, praise, make his praise glorious. Say unto the heavenly father... How terrible art thou in thy works. 
Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. Mm. It ain't gonna be just like they just gonna submit and okay, we see you power, we gonna nah, off, man. Yahweh Shah is coming back to crash the kingdoms on the earth, man. Right, bro. And show who's the supreme power in the universe. They say he's gonna beat them in the power. Yeah. The power, I mean, you got your ass. You gotta hand it to yeah. you, bro. Because they gonna rebel. They gonna resist. They gonna. Fight the, the the heavenly host, man. Most high gonna make them. Yeah. Damn. To no avail. Right. Poor fools. Shit, what I am on that, man. We're gonna end it, man. Lord Williams edification came out during this lesson. Wanna give all praise, honor, and glory to, to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rafakadash. The one us to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, who seem to rule well and guide us through the spirit, man. Peace and blessings to the elect brethren across the four corners. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.